cookware manufacturer Nissan Resources Bahad is going through an evolution. Best known for the Buffalo line of cookware, the company saw its earnings take a hit when sales took a hit. But now, however, the company is focused on China with a 54 million ringgit trade deal involving its own products. We talked to MD Chen Shen Yi about the company's intention to move up the value chain. Mr. Chen from Nissin here. So, sir, I've got to ask you, right? Your Nissin has always been quite low key, let's say. Yes. You know, and but recently you guys seem to be on a roll because at first, you know, your your Pentoli cookware, then you come up with this. Well, you're partnering for this low start, you know, starch eliminating yes. rice cooker, and now you have this big, uh, 84 million RMB deal uh, with this Minkeda Group. Yes. So, is this your strategy, strategy decision? Like, after so many years of being very low-key, why suddenly Nissin thinks it's now is the time to evolve? All these are necessary in order for us to move up the value chain. Mm. We have been all the while OEM and ODM manufacturer. And as you know, OEM, ODM, the margin is not that encouraging. Not that encouraging. When we create our own brand, Prantoli, if we manage to sell it by ourselves or appoint distributor, uh, in various market, we will be able to move up the value chain by earning a better profit margin. Nissan's always been known better for Buffalo, actually. It's a very, very yes. old name in the yes. pots. You guys were the distributors because yes. of the long history that you had with yes. uh, the owners. Yes. But, you know, you've actually decided to terminate it, just do their OEM. Mm. And, you know, was that a very scary decision? Because it's been the way that you've been doing things for so many years. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is not a scary decision. It is the correct decision uh, based on Nishim circumstances. When we termi so-called terminate the distribution agreement, is we change the business model. We still maintain the same relationship with, with Buffalo, meaning that they still continue to let us manufacture their Buffalo cookware under a manufacturing agreement. But now we don't sell to Buffalo ultimate customer. We sell it back to Buffalo they will distribute it to their customer. Now, by doing so, what we have done is we save a marketing cost about one million a year because we don't need to maintain the marketing team to market Buffalo brand. So that team of person transfer back to Buffalo. We save one million. Now, on top of it, we don't need to pay royalty to okay. Buffalo. But surely for Pentoli, mm. you still need to play marketing since you guys are, you know, you're ah. going out with your own brand. Okay, Pentoli is an entirely different business model. We uh, is a B2B business model, meaning that we don't deal with ultimate customer. We sell it to, um, meaning we appoint distributor to sell it to the mass market. So it goes back to our root, uh, it's, it's, uh, meaning that we don't deal with customer directly. Uh, let our distributor do the job. The thing is, retail is low, customers' yeah. pockets are shrinking, you know, Ringgit, you, you import a lot of your stuff, Ringgit is having through times. I mean, like, does all of this, does any of this worry you in your okay. strategy? But I don't know whether it's good or bad thing to say. <laughs> Actually, the weakening of Ringgit mm. helped uh, Nishin quite a lot. In, I think, early 2016, the uh, standard steel price dropped like crazy because of nickel price drop. Okay, during that period, we already imported a lot of raw material during that time. And compared to the raw material price we import in the early 2016 and now, uh, the price has increased from 1008 to 2003. Quite a substantial saving yeah. in, for us to, to, to stock up the raw material during the early... So you've managed your costs on that yes, side? Yes, yes. We always uh, look at the raw material price. So for the year ahead for Nissin, are you seeing more of these kinds of deals or you're happy with what you are now? Uh, we have to take things uh, step, step by step. <laughs> until we've proven that our strategy or what we have done until today is correct, then we will move on. Will the numbers come back? I'm very sure 2017 result will be much better than 2016, okay. even without Ming Geta. Okay, mm. why do you say that? At the end of year 2016, we actually make a round trip to visit our customer in Korea, Japan, Singapore and Europe as well. And we managed to regain some lost customer. And the existing customer also give us confidence they will place much more order because uh, since we are no longer uh, associated with Buffalo. Buffalo.